there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. So today we are going to take a look at your love life for the month of April. Uh, and we are going to take a look at it from the universe's perspective, okay? So keep in mind, this is a general reading. You may want to check your individual signs if it doesn't resonate. But don't forget to smash like button if it does, okay? Uh, and just subscribe, by the way. <laughs> if you're interested in private reading, the link is going to be down below, all right? So let's see here what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces? All right, awesome. So let's see here. Overall energy, we have the king, the king, the, well, maybe the king, but we do have the knight of pentacles. It's interesting that we have this death card and I was saying king because I feel like there is some sort of situation here in this connection um, that is sort of elevating. King, uh, knight of pentacles, here I am saying king. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Um, but Knight of Pentacles elevating towards a King of Pentacles. So maybe this was the situation. We do have the Ten of Swords. So maybe this is someone from the past. But I do feel like there is someone here that is really trying to put in the effort in this connection. And I feel like now they're really ready to step into their power and essentially give you what you deserve. Oh, yeah, look at that. We have the Empress over there. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. And we have strong Libra on your side. So you could um, have strong Libra. On your chart you could also be dealing with libra we also have gemini my god man this person is like on you like all over the place all they want is you um wow this this is truly incredible so how the universe is seeing you like okay before we get into that pisces this person like when i say that they are on you like they they, they want you okay they don't want anyone else um, my God. Okay, so uh, how the universe is seeing you? We have justice. I feel like the universe sees you being very, very balanced. I feel like you're doing a great job at like balancing your emotions, balancing your energies, your feminine and masculine energy. I feel like things are really working out for you in a beautiful way. And I feel like you are seeing a lot of success too in your career. If you're not, then I definitely feel like that is something that is showing up for you, especially in April, since this is an April reading. Um, but I feel like that is definitely something that is happening here uh, around you. I feel like you're uh, getting into this beautiful place of manifestation. So you could be attracting a lot of beautiful stuff your way. And um, I do feel like there is like some sort of blessing, some sort of manifestation that is coming through um, this month. Because like even this Queen of Swords, she has like um, some sort of cloth there. So with, with some clouds, you know, or at least I see them as clouds. And uh, it's almost like there's a dream that is coming to reality. Um, I also feel like it could be something to do, number one, this Libra energy, we do have a full moon. Uh, well, we had actually yesterday from where this video is uploaded, um, a full moon in Libra. So that could actually be very significant, but that is all about like clearing away energy for you to allow love to come in. So Libra is the ruler of the seventh house of relationships. So definitely one of the blessings could be this person coming forward. I also feel like there could be some sort of inner uh, storm that is going on. All of these clouds and even the trees over there, they seem like they are like a lot of wind. So, uh, and you know, swords are about mental things, are about thoughts. So I really feel like there could also be some sort of clarity coming towards you. Um, and a lot of inner peace, I feel especially with that justice over there. So I feel like you're doing great. What the universe expects you in your next actions, um, what the universe would like you to do when it comes to this person is, you know, be assertive, put your boundaries, but don't just, you know, push this person away. At least hear them out, you know? Because um, I feel like I always see this Queen of Swords as like, she, I, I always see this Queen of Swords as like someone that doesn't talk a lot, but when they do, they say the right things. And so I feel like it is going to be a time for you to um, listen to what this person has to say and then make your decision. If it is about walking away, then walk away. If it is about giving this person another shot, give this relationship another shot and see where things go. But again, Knight of Pentacles here, and then we have Death card, and now we have Empress on how the universe is seeing them. Man, this person has leveled up. I feel like they are super focused on themselves um, not in a selfish way, though. I feel like they're just getting into this place of abundance, of prosperity. I feel like their career is going pretty damn well. Um, and, um, oh yeah, you could also be dealing with a, a Libra, actually, because Empress is also Libra energy. But, um, 
I definitely feel like this person is getting into a, a, that same place of balance that you are. I feel like you were always, you possibly were always very more, very much more mature than this person was. Now they are really at your level. I really feel like this person, like if you go talk to them now, you're not going to recognize them. I would say. I really feel like this person has changed 100% and I feel like they are ready to give you what you deserve and what they couldn't give you in the past. Because I feel like before, they with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like before they were really afraid of like giving you a little pentacle. You know, they were like, ah, oh, please don't, please don't run away. Um, and they end up running away, I feel, because they were afraid that you would. Um, maybe you were the one that ran away. But um, I really feel like there were a lot of a commitment issues, abandonment issues, um, a lot of things that were not putting this person in the right place. Uh, oh, we also have some Virgo energy here, by the way. Um, but I really feel like this person is really stepping into their power and really creating the life that they want. I feel like they're doing really good. I also feel like their mental health is like top notch. I really feel like they have a really good connection with themselves and they know what they want. That Empress, she knows what, the, what she wants. And in this case, it's you. And I really feel like they're going to fight for you. What they expect, what the universe expects of this person's next actions, the lovers. The universe expects this person to work for your relationship with them, you know? I, I really feel like, especially Six of Pentacles here showing up in April, um, I really feel like this person is really going to give you and is going to put in the effort in this relationship, trying to prove it to you that, you know, I'm serious about this. I really want this. Um, and I really feel like they are going to try and make it up to you, you know, trying to balance things out. And I really feel like they're doing their best, okay? Um, and how the universe sees the connection with that three of wands over there, I really feel like the universe sees the connection with huge potential to grow towards a place of um, balance, towards a place of abundance of love and equal give and take towards this beautiful place of wishes coming true. I actually feel like you could help each other out a lot. Um, in your own personal journeys, in your own personal careers, and um, like supporting each other in your own endeavors, supporting each other with support, you know, just support. And I really feel like this has the beautiful potential to be something great, to be honest. And it could actually grow pretty fast if you so choose to, because it, if it is up to this person, this person is ready to marry you and have kids. If it, is, if it is up to you, I kind of feel like you are a little bit more hesitant about it and you may want to take it at a Knight of Pentacles kind of pace, you know, and, and kind of make sure that this person is really being legit and they are really speaking the truth. Um, and I mean, I feel, like, I feel like that's actually something that you may be wise to do, you know, kind of protect yourself. Yeah, love yourself first and make sure that you're receiving what you want. Uh, we do also have engagement. Let's get here. One more, a couple more. All right. So we also have deception and true love. So I really feel like uh, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like moving forward, that is not going to be possible um, because I feel like you're so protected and pr protected by the universe, but also protective of yourself. And I feel like your intuition is going to be like, on like on the top level and you're really going to be able to figure out if this person is speaking the truth or not so if you have a bad vibe from them again listen first and see what they have to say but if you have a bad vibe that's probably true honestly i don't see bad vibes here whatsoever i do feel like this person could come forward with um like owning up to a secret speaking some sort of truth that they were hiding from you um and their mask is fully coming out I really feel like they're stepping into their fullest, most authentic version of themselves. And honestly, I feel like before they were possibly seeing this relationship has um, not necessarily has like just sex or something like that, but they could definitely be have been seeing this relationship has, oh, you know, it's just just a little soulmate, you know, just just someone here for me to kind of connect with and no big deal. And now I feel like they are, have realized, oh, shit. Pisces could actually be the one, you know, um, and I feel like because they came to that realization, I feel like they are really ready to fight for you. I feel like they are really ready to step this forward. Um, 
And again, I do see you with that love yourself first. I do see you really putting yourself first and really um, asking for what you want and asking for what you deserve. And I feel like you're getting it. That is the thing. It's like, I want bananas. This person is going to go to Mexico if they have to, to buy bananas for you, you know? Um, they're going to do anything in their power to really um, satisfy you and make sure that you trust them again and make sure that you are um, comfortable in this relationship. And I also feel like they're going to be totally understanding of where you're coming from. You know, I, I feel like they know that they have to gain your trust. And again, they, I keep hearing they're going to do their best to make that happen. I really feel like they're going to try Pisces. All right, so let's pull here some advice for you. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. So we have gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. And I don't even feel like this is the purpose of this connection. I feel like it was possibly to trigger you both into healing, especially this person. Um, but it's not that you need them to heal. They don't need you to heal. I feel like you heal mutually just by coexisting, just by being there with one another. And look at that beautiful growth, 36, 37. Oh, and look at that, we have 38 next. Um, so there's definitely this beautiful growth happening. This person has changed, okay? This person has changed. Um, endings are inevitable. I do feel like there was uh, a shift happening here. And so the, the cycles that you were in with them and just like with your love life overall, I feel like that is over, okay? I feel like that has, that is finished. Uh, and look at that, we have 22, library, take control of your own narrative. This, I honestly feel like this could go either way. If you want it to happen, it can definitely happen. If you want to walk away, that is totally up to you, okay? Because we do have free will. Um, but again, at least hear them out, at least, give them a shot to kind of put the truth out there, you know, um, but definitely keep focusing on you, be your own first priority. But uh, I definitely feel like now no one can stop you. And um, I feel like before, maybe you let yourself be led by like sweet talk. And this time I think that you won't. Um, and that is a very good thing because you won't be able to be manipulated by this person if you're afraid of that. You won't be, because you won't let that happen, right? So trust yourself, Pisces, trust that intuition. And again, know that this person is really being honest about their feelings for you, and they are really in a good place, okay? They have really changed. They really have grown. Um, and I don't see any immaturity right now, okay? So Pisces, this is what I have for you. Uh, I hope it resonated, hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and for private readings, if you want to dive a little deeper into this, the link is going to be down below. Okay. So I love you very much. Um, I wish you the freaking best and I'll see you in the next one.